What is an archetype? Since we're calling this series the warrior archetype, we might as well define our terms. And what the, the sense that I'm using the word archetype is comes from the great psychologist Carl Jung, the Jungian sense. And one of his great contributions, aside from the discovery of the collective unconscious, was the idea that we are not born into this world as blank slates, like a computer that doesn't have an operating system. We, we come already equipped from the millennia that the human race has been around with the collective wisdom of all that, uh, all, all that experience. And one of the pieces of the information that we have inside us are the archetypes. And the archetypes are kind of archaic super personalities that exist already within our psyche. Like I'll, I'll give you an examples of the archetypes. The, um, the divine child, the virgin, the youth, the wanderer, the lover, the warrior, which we'll get into later, the trickster, the artificer, and on up through the king, the queen, the sage, and the mystic. And these are kind of, like I say, super personalities that already exist within our consciousness and that exert a pressure on us to, to live them out. Now, there's here are like three of the really interesting um, characteristics of the, of the archetypes. Um, number one, they come already encoded with sort of all the information that we need. For instance, there's kind of like, you know the little chips that you put into your car's navigation system? It's like if we were driving across Russia towards Europe and we had the Russia chip in our navigation system, we'd have all the alleys and all the lanes in Moscow and all those other things. Then we hit Western Europe, we take that chip out, we put in a different ship for Western Europe, and suddenly we know, you know how to get to Dresden, how to get to Paris, how to get to Rome, and all that sort of thing. So an archetype is kind of like that chip. It comes already encoded with all kinds of information that helps us as we evolve. Um, the second thing about the archetypes is that, according to Jung, they are universal. If we were to go to a primitive hunter-gatherer in the Amazon jungle, and we could somehow access his warrior archetype, it would be identical to the warrior archetype of a cadet at West Point or uh, any other thing we want to we want to think about. The other thing that is really interesting about the archetypes is that they kick in at certain times as we grow, as we evolve, and they kind of kick in in sequence. For instance, it makes sense that the virgin archetype kicks in before the queen archetype or that the warrior archetype kicks in before the sage or the mystic archetype. So, uh, for instance, we'll get into this in the next piece, but the warrior archetype kicks in sometime around, for men and for women, around maybe 12, 13, 14, and lasts all the way through the mid-20s and even beyond. And so, a lot of times, we may think we're making a decision based on our own rational input. In fact, what's happening is deep in our psyche, an archetype has kicked in. And I'll, I'll see if I can give you an example of what that might be like. For instance, the sage archetype. If you think about Gandalf or Merlin or Obi-Wan Kenobi, they kick in at the time when your hair turns white and you've had like seven or eight decades of wisdom on, on this planet. Um, the last thing I wanted to say, actually I have a couple of things more to say. This is a really interesting book, King, Warrior, Magician, Lover, that I actually recommended it in the earlier uh, series on recommended books. And of course, King, Warrior, Magician, Lover, these are the archetypes, male archetypes. And in fact, uh, one of the blurbs on the front of this book says, a roadmap for traversing the masculine psyche, which I think is really true. I highly recommend this book. Here's the last thought I want to leave you with before we go on. Um, if you're a writer, one of the great things, one of the great ways to get energy in a scene is if you can have a clash of archetypes. For instance, if you think about Luke Skywalker in a scene with Obi-Wan Kenobi. Obi-Wan Kenobi is the sage archetype. Or if you think of Aragorn and Gandalf, um, a similar sort of thing where Luke Skywalker is the, the youth of the young warrior and the sage archetype. You get some great energy out of, the, out of that contradiction. Now we're gonna talk next time 
about the warrior archetype itself. But for now, I just want to recommend this one book, King, Warrior, Magician, Lover, and the concept of the archetypes that we're going to get into much deeper as this series goes along.